The Albright football team scored a season high 51 points as it defeated FDU Florham 51 to 33 on Friday night. Alec Vignola threw three touchdown passes in succession. FDU had just cut the Albright lead to 20 to seven with a three yard touchdown pass from Mike Panzerino to Malik Presley with 11.01 left in the second quarter. An FDU punt set up the Lions at the FDU 47. Vignola completed three passes on the drive the only plays of the drive, culminating in an eight-yard strike to carry Jefferson to make it 27-7. Albright then scored quickly on the opening possession of the second half. Vignola again just needed three plays. He hit Kyle Dickerson for a 44-yard touchdown pass to make it 34-7. Following Dickerson's touchdown, David Sanchez intercepted the pass on the Devils' second play of the drive to set up the offense at the FDU 35. This time, Vignola capped a two-play drive with a 23-yard touchdown pass to Milton Cordero to make it 41-7 with 12.22 left in the third quarter. Nigel Seeley added a four-yard touchdown run later in the third quarter to make it 48-13 Albright, and Kevin Getz kicked his third field goal in three tries to round out the Albright scoring midway through the fourth quarter. FDU scored three touchdowns in the final 19 minutes, but the result was never in doubt. I, th I think we came out here today with a lot more confidence as a team. I think that showed up, particularly on offense. I mean, we, we, we had been struggling offensively, and, and today I think we took a giant step forward. We kind of, we talked on, on, on Sunday of last week about, um, you know, just getting back in the win column a week ago, and we, we kind of painted a picture uh, this week of going to the playoffs. and. You know, uh, talking about, you know, we had uh, our first playoff game was this Friday night against FDU. If you win that one, then that, the next one really matters, you know, a lot. And that's next week against Lebanon Valley for our senior day. And really, ultimately, that's going to end up being a play-in game for us. I don't know what Val is going to do, you know, tomorrow when they play. But um, as it stands right now, the winner of that game will, will be going to the Max Centennial Championship. And... You know, I, I, if my math's right, I think if, if we win next week, then we're the host team, the top seeded host team, because we had head to head over, over Widener. And we have an opportunity then to send our seniors out with a championship and, and build some momentum, you know, for our guys uh, in the off season. And, and, and I wanted these underclassmen to understand what it feels like to go to the playoffs, where, you know, you, you win or you're done, you know, kind of, kind of a thing. And so, we, we kind of painted that picture here this week, and, and you know I, I thought we approached the week the right way. It was one of the best weeks of practice we've had, you know, at, at least in the second half of the season. Uh, and so hopefully we can build on this momentum going into next week and finish things the right way on our senior day uh, against Lebanon Valley, and uh, and then we'll see what happens after that as far as the, the Max Centennial Championship goes. Albright returns to action next Saturday at home against Lebanon Valley.